We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Nice, Martini. anybody I can use the Rams I can use the Cowboys I just do me a favor if I win subscribe to my YouTube that's all I ask To Montgomery to begin the drive. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw is gone. A leaping and he makes the grab. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. From the 41, here's a second and five. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he'll be pretty well stopped at his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Third and four. Now Goff looking to change the play. He'll drop to throw. Throw caught by Raymond. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. Oh, he's going to be stopped up right at that unofficial yellow line, but I do believe he got the two yards. Yes, confirmed by the referee. It's a first down. Here's Gaw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 
They're not liking the look. They'll change the play. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Goff now looking to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. They'll talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They've been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. Patterson's kick is good, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll send Brown in motion right. They go play action with Hurts. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts eluding the pressure right. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards for number 11. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. 46, boys, 46, 46. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts flushed out right. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They go here with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he'll take this down to the 33. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. And 
he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. On the ground with a tight end. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. Now a toss for Swift left side, brought down at the 20. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second down and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Swift. Maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Oh, that's the wrong play. Swift will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And I missed. Nope. Let's go. And this is up and oh, good to make man. it 7-3. The government kills us. Hey, the government, hey, I like your name, bro. The government does kill us. I, I fucks with you. Just off your name alone. I fucks with you. Now after the touchdown, what you mean I better not beat you? You came with the Lions. I understand your game might be good, but it's the Lions, bro. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. No, so they can. It just there. take the right user. It's the Lions hey. offense ready to kick off their next drive. What is it? With this slim deficit closing in on oh, the end of the shit. first Oh shit! I'm like uh, I'm opposite of you. I'm like 138 and 66. Escaping the pressure right. Damn, is that all with the Lions? He's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Oh, okay. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. There's gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as the tackle made at the 42. The final shot before break here. Gone. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Shit, I... If you go... Like, you see where the blues is at? Like, you want to kind of not go dark blue, but you don't want to keep it in... You want to keep a middle in between, like... So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third the fuck gets type underway. kick was that? They got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag oh, now. Oh, shit. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, it's such a high-stakes scenario. Oh, no. I, I was already going to pick on onside kick. I kind of knew it was coming. Which one is he going to pick in terms of Yeah. Defense? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. That's throw well, right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. That one goes for 24 yards. The partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Let's go. And this is Corey. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? From the 33, here's second and four. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's gone. Nice pass. That is caught. Oh, he's got some breathing. Come on, Slay. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. Say, who's that, St. Brown? Amon Ross, St. Yeah. Brown. 65 yards. And the Lions have got it back to within a score. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver. Did I? And oh, it'll be intercepted. <laughs> Keely Ringo picks it off. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Oh, bad pass. Too far in front, he couldn't reel it All in. Right. It's incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Hurt sets up to throw it. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can... Oh, no! The Good shit. And it's intercepted. Hey, get the top. Let's Kirby go. Joseph. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. That's well, what that's I get for using right the keys. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong there. team. The gun, Montgomery. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree God with that. God dang it, I was they trying to get over there. Stand on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Montgomery will Sorry. take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing we fancy got a game about this again, one. Folks. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run and this play in the, the field, alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. All right. Goff and that Lions offense staying on the field. They'll try for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. The try for two is successful. And it pushes the lead up to a field goal. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is Ooh, to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this. Cut, throw the ball. For a heavy rush, and down he goes. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. Oh, yeah, so we will so switch about. ends as the it. third quarter has come to a close. Now I got to pull this something out my ass. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Oh, it's on the second down. Let's switch this up. Julio. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. In motion right is Jones. Oh, 
Second down. Here's Hurts. Damn, he bumped him. And we ah, oh, come and on, you got to come down with that complete. nice bump. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open nice for a minute. Bump. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32. And obviously hey, well short crazy. of the first down. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. No, not really. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Lions will take over. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one score game. And you hear a lot about two minute offense and four minute offense. Obviously, the four minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really, what the four minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. needed and you know as well as I do people are gonna question the play call in that situation sometimes you have to question the execution not necessarily the call and in this case those defenders found a way to give their team a chance tackle there by Alex Anzalone that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be nice. frank about it most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Man open left side is Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 36. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. This is Swift on the counter. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Now second and four. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Hurts. He'll hit Watkins on it the is, crossing route. Watkins. Left you a lot of bit of time. And the Eagles have taken a fourth quarter lead. Very cool. 
Yeah, let go. And touchdown, and congratulations, and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one All right, is defense. done, but now on the sideline, you can already see him scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys you ready. Have to hold you them have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Now, the question is how I want to do this. Here's first and ten. If I set the bait, is you going to fall for it? Just the They'll question. start this drive out on the ground. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Here comes second down. Now gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. That's even better. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Golf. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And punt safe. <laughs> I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Oh, uh, welcome to Madden. That's from the offensive line and creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line oh, in the pregame. Man, that's classic. So you don't trip look, I gave you. Look, look, I'll, I'll give you another. I'll give you another chance, real quick. I got you. I had you as a quarter. I'll throw it up. The YouTube is Dip's World. Uh, that one looks like he'll throw here. Yep. Oh, this thing got the pick. No. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Oh my God. The tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception I should have fucking game changer. Ran it. And I just got to think to myself it's at this all right. point Come of the on, game, defense. I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your MO, Goff. and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no brakes, you better have the emergency really lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in the tough spot with that interception. And he works out. his way past the line out. of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Uh, the Lions shit. will use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the I football might. game. Here's a second and seven. Now it's gone. Flush to his right. And his throw is incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they worked really well together in this one, especially oh late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Goff now to throw. Pick. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. With that you don't incompletion, reality the bait, is yeah. staring them right in the face. This entire Just game don't let them is get down to the yards. next snap. That's all you gotta do. Don't do that. Do that. No choice but to go. Here's fourth oh, down now. Shit. Fuck. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. 
And he is going to have the Lions first. I knew down. where it was and going, that too. That's easy, the bad but they part. They do wind up converting a fourth and seven to keep this drive moving. Back to throw. Being chased out left. Yes. And he's taken down. Trying to do a little too game. much getting outside of the oh. pocket. And it results in a sack. He got one a time out. A costly sack. They'll have to use a timeout here. And barring so a defensive penalty, be they'll be jerk. looking at one final play. I hope your lateral game One is good. One last throw here for golf. Eluding the pressure the right. Oh, and he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. I'm about to uh, this one came right down the wire right now, and CD they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the But I will zone, tell you, you got to join my franchise in one of my yeah, leagues. How about bro. the defense there because while they you. had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and, at least and no it. flags. It a good game. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.